you know, we were talking a little bit before that um, I watched that documentary, uh, Fed Up, yeah. um, which came out in uh, 2014. And it kind of talked about how um, the government is tried to r- regulate uh, some of our food and nutrition and like school lunches and things like that. Right. But, but, but even like just everyday meals for, for everyday Americans and, and help out to make more nutritious things available and work mm. with the food industry and stuff. But um, I feel like some of the things that maybe were done with the best intentions mm-hmm. didn't pan out that way. Yeah. Um, we were kind of talking about it, and uh, I think it was called um, was it called the M- McGovern Report? Oh, I think that's I think you're right. In, in the '70s, yeah. yeah. And um, it's weird because if you look back through uh, time in what like doctors and stuff recommended, um, there were you know like during Prohibition there were doctors that would write prescriptions for alcohol. Uh, because alcohol was illegal, but with a doctor's prescription, you could get it. And they would say, oh, that's because, um, you know, this person has anxiety or nerves or or something. And they would prescribe them alcohol. In the past, doctors had prescribed uh, cigarettes, you know, like, oh, this will calm you down. This will help with your anxiety. Mm-hmm. And we know nowadays that's not what doctors should be subscri- yeah. uh, prescribing. But um you know, in this report, they talked about how um, uh, exercise was better. Or, you know, I shouldn't say that. Right before this report came out, doctors started really recommending exercise. And that was another weird thing. Like, there was a point in history where people were thinking uh, that exercise could lead to, like, heart attacks and stuff. Mm-hmm. And so they weren't recommending it, like overstressing the body. But we know now that that's a mistake. Right. And uh, in this report, they started talking about um, what foods were good for you and what was bad for you and what should only be in moderation. Yeah. And one of the things that they recommended was um, for us not to eat so much fat. Mm-hmm. And uh, they worked with the food industry and the uh, the agricultural um, uh, co- uh, community in this country to um, remove a lot of the fat from... Um, our food the issue with that is is that food without fat in it yeah. tastes like cardboard yeah, it's gross <laughs> it, it's it's crap um so the food industry knew this but they were being basically mandated to make it healthier from mm-hmm. the way they were pitching it so they removed the fat which they thought was unhealthy and in order to make it taste better they added sugar mm. So almost everything we buy now, even things that you wouldn't think have sugar in it, like like pasta sauce has added or sugar. It does, yeah. Or, um, I mean, even things with sugar-free is now like, you know, it's a sugar replacement. It's, right. um, it, it's There's still sweetener in there if mm-hmm. it's not sugar. But sugar, at least according to this documentary and some other things I've read, are way wor- is way worse than fat. And... The thing was, is I remember when I was younger, and maybe you remember this, because this happened in like the mid to late 70s. Yeah. And then after that, you started seeing like no fat, low fat products on the shelf. Um, And uh, then, you know, they were making it taste better by putting sugar in it. Yeah. And then in the 80s, um, they started noticing, well, the more sugar is a problem. And then they started saying, well, not all fat is bad, just certain fats. Mm -hmm. And I remember, at least in my household, like you'd see things like that on the on the um, the TV. You know, like maybe they would say salt is bad for you, and then they would say, "Well, everyone needs a little bit of salt." Right. And I felt like my family members were saying things like, "You know, what is it? You're telling us this is bad," and then we stop doing it, and then they say, "Well, a little bit is good," mm-hmm. or they say, "Oh, this is actually good for you," and it's like, "Well, is it good for you or is it bad for you? What is it?" And right. I think the deal is, is a lot of it is moderation yes but the issue is is that this flip-flopping back and forth maybe even promoting some things that are bad that we know are bad now that um you know we didn't know were bad at the time and we saw the small benefits that they were making and we would recommend them for those reasons Mm -hmm. um it kind of creates a mistrust yeah yeah for sure yeah so then people start going 
well, what do these doctors know? Yeah. And yeah. it's like they do know a lot, but they're not infallible, mm-hmm. you know? Right. Over a long enough period of time, humanity's made mistakes. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, we've like, you know, we've come a long way. Um, like we have the Food and Drug Administration to try to like s- kind of regulate those things and provide like a safe way for people to, um, you know, like consume, like have food and medicines and whatever else um, without people just like releasing product, you know, without without it going, you know, checked. Um, Wait, what do you mean? You know, like um, us getting, which I, I know that there's a process to like uh, getting food on the gr- on the shelves at the grocery store. Sure, sure. You know, you can't just put yeah, anything out there. Right, yeah, right. So, uh, but I feel like you know that it's a process, and it's a process, you know, for the public safety. Um, Absolutely. But you know, like you said, you know, they're not infallible, and there's you know things that happen, and you know sometimes we get like. Uh, double talk where someone will say one thing is bad and then they say, oh, it's not so bad. And, you know, people are wondering, like, you know, what are you talking about? You know, a month ago you said this was bad and I shouldn't eat it. Yeah, well, so. one of the things they talked about in this movie was that, and see, originally the report said fat was bad, so they cut fat out. But then it tasted like crap, so then they replaced it with sugar. And yeah. then it tasted good again, and now they're saying sugar's bad. But let me let me say this: not all sugar is bad. Mm-hmm. the The issue is is the added sugar is is bad. Yeah, and, and I feel like one thing that we're going to end up saying a lot uh, while we're talking in this is moderation. Yes, it's <laughs> uh, moderation. Yeah, because um, I think that's probably the key with a lot of things. I don't know about raw milk. I don't think you should have raw milk in any time. I uh, milk, but, but yeah, I don't know where that one's. I coming think I'm from, gonna yeah. take a hard stance on that one and be like, yeah, no. That's yeah, I don't think that's for me. Either. Um, <laughs> but but like like one of the things that the um, documentary was talking about was like let's say you eat an orange or a strawberry or mm-hmm. something like that that has sugar in it. Yeah, but it also has fiber in it. Right. And your body processes that differently. Mm-hmm. If it's just added sugar or even like, um, it doesn't even have to be straight up sugar. It could be like the high fructose um, yeah. corn syrup mm-hmm. or um, what are the other ones like? Um, then there's like artificial sweeteners like saccharin and uh, uh, is it stevia or something? Uh, there, something like that. There's a bunch uh, of them. Yeah. And the the issue with that is is, at least from this documentary, because it it lacks the fiber, um, it, it kind of it, it gets processed by your liver, and your then that sends a signal to your pancreas to create more of the uh, hormone um, insulin, mm-hmm. and then and then because we're taking in all of this sugar, it can cause your body to produce more insulin than normal. It can actually send. Uh, that a uh, high amount of insulin in your body can send a signal to your brain telling you that you're still hungry. Mm-hmm. So then you eat more and more of this, plus the way that it's processed in your body without uh, fiber, um, it almost like directly gets translated and stored as yeah. fat. Right. So not only are you not using what you're eating, it's it's being stored and then on top of that, your brain's being told, I'm still hungry. Yeah. So then you eat more of it. Right. Yeah. 